Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord, our Savior, and our Deliverer, <coughs> who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah, called Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Akakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect. Beginning with the Akim, the brothers, as well as my fellow laborers doing this work in all truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, risking their lives, as well as the speckled bird, the Israelites that look like the other nations but whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and as well as the, the Aquati and the sisters. Listening and learning and taking heed to his word in sincerity. Alright, Yahweh Bashim Al Shambrakatan. Shalom, Mr. Brother Abijah, with another lesson through the Spirit, as always. You know, and um, today I just wanted to touch on the topic of how, you know, in all in all our our everyday uh, activities, you know, everything that we do, we have to uh, include Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Because, you know, first and foremost, you know, without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we, we can't do nothing. You know, but a lot of times, you know, we can find ourselves, you know, uh, taking too much credit when really no credit is due to us at all. You know, but yes, we do we do have our effort as a, uh, you know, as humans, you know, so to speak. But you know, everything is through the will and the and the ordinance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So you know, y'all just you know entitled the lesson. The Lord's purpose shall prevail, man, because, you know, everything is according to the Lord's purpose. You know, nothing that happens, nothing that has happened, and nothing that will happen is not, is not you know, first ordained by Yahweh, by Shema, You know, uh, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 3. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Yeah, when you if you taking credit, I mean, you know, we really have no power. Then you deceiving yourself. You 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 are convincing yourself that you know um, you did something or that you obtained something by by the power of your own hands. But that's not true because even if let's say you do uh, go after something, you know, and, and you want to obtain something, and uh, the Lord allows you to obtain it. Oops, that that. So like it for that. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was saying, you know, if it is, let's say it is something that, you know, um, you know, you choosing to go after or you choosing to obtain. If the Lord don't want you to uh, obtain that, you're not gonna obtain it. You know, if if the Lord don't want you to to prosper in something, you better believe that you're not gonna prosper in that thing. All right, so you know, if it is something that, you know, that you want it, that you, you know, personally. You know put effort towards and you actually succeeded in it it's not because of yourself it's because of the lord wanted that to be all right you know it says for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing yeah we we nothing man we 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 so insignificant compared to yahweh by shima Sha. we absolutely have no room to to take any credit for anything or, or to boast in anything second corinthians 3 and verse 5 now that we are not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of our as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of the Most High. All right, and let's look at this word sufficiency. You know, just for for further edification, because it said our sufficiency is of the Most High. It's not of ourselves. Okay. Matter of fact, before I get the definition of the word sufficiency, I'm going to read that scripture again in the NLT version. Okay, this is 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 5 in the NLT. It says, it is not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own. Our qualification comes from the Most High. You know, so further going into how, you know, we're going to be deceiving ourselves if we think that anything is because of our will or because of our power to... Uh, to carry something out 
this is the definition of that word sufficiency this comes from the Greek uh, hikanatas hikanatas okay it says ability or, or competency to do a thing okay so it's the ability or the or the competency to do to, to do something okay so our ability is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, no matter what it is, I mean, it can be something small. It can be something great. If you if you feel like you doing something or that you have done something, you know, because you got a lot of people out there who boast in themselves, like you know, yeah, I got it on my own. You know, ain't nobody helped me. You know, and that's that's the furthest thing from the truth, man. Because yeah, at one point, you know, many brothers, you know, I'm gonna speak for myself though. You know, at one point I had that mindset, like. You know, ain't nobody helping me. You know, uh, I'm getting it on my own. You know, I'm doing this on my own. I ain't, I ain't uh, asking for no handouts. This and the third. You know that worldly mindset, that carnal mindset. You know, but but come to find out, ain't nothing that I that I have done or that I planned on doing was of myself or or was gonna be of myself. Everything was was uh, according to Yahweh by Shema uh either uh, ordaining it to happen or rejecting it. You know. And it's just as simple as that. So again, yeah, but it says, but our sufficiency is of the Most High. Yeah, our ability. All right. Psalms chapter eight and verse three. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. Okay, because yeah, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shah made all things. Okay, from from all of the heavens. That means you know the first second and third heaven which is you know the sky the firmament space and then you know the spiritual realm as well as you know all things on earth as well all right and even the things that we don't know about and that we haven't seen yet you know all things were ordained by Yahweh by Shema Shah. it says verse 4 what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him okay and who are the sons of men that's, that would be everybody on the earth, man, because we all uh, came from the seed of a man, all right? But, it, you know, the, the question is being asked, you know, what is man that thou art mindful of him? You know, just speaking to the Heavenly Father, you know, who is who is a man that you that you can, uh, that you're going to acknowledge a man, you know? You made man, you know, so how, how small are we in comparison to the Heavenly Father, you know? Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 24 But let him that glorieth Glory in this Yeah so if it's anything that you're going to glory in Which we're not supposed to really be glorying in anything Because we have we have no glory yet You know we have no no power We have no No real uh, You know We have no no pool so to speak man We don't we don't got no We don't got it You know But you know, eventually we will, Lord willing, we be able to elect, man. The Lord is going to give us that power. You know, the Lord is going to give us something to glory in. The Lord is going to justify us. But right now, man, we at a, such a low state. We at the lowest state we've ever been in as Israelites. As Israelites being the so-called blacks and Negroes, so-called Latinos and Hispanics, and the so-called Native and Seminole Indians. All right? Us Israelites is at uh, our lowest estate as a nation right now that we've ever been. So we damn sure don't got nothing to glory in. Or, or anything to boast about But you still do have those people who You know <clears throat> The Lord gave over to that mindset to, to Who the Lord put in that In that mind frame of You know still being prideful When they don't got shit Don't got shit to show for You know like the, uh, the, that saying goes uh, Don't got a, a pot to piss in And a window to throw it out of That's us as a nation man We don't got nothing to our name We don't own anything We don't have any kind of control Or, or, or authority over anything but you still have israelites who are prideful still in captivity still serving you know uh up under our oppressors but you know it's a lot okay but it's a lot you know like like the scripture says man if but but let him that glorieth glory in this it says that he understandeth and knoweth me okay this is the heavenly father speaking it says that i am yahweh which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahweh. 
all right so the lord delights in uplifting his name and magnifying his name okay and in acknowledging that you know if it wasn't for him we would have nothing we would be nothing you know and that's that's true you know and and you know like the scripture speaks about man roughly paraphrasing you know we can we can uh glorify the lord you know we can anything we can think of you know to to as far as words go we can try to glorify the lord man but we still gonna fall short of of you know describing or explaining the the, the glory and the majesty of yahweh by shim you know so you know in that alone and being able to to say that you know that power is our power you know that's something to glory in. that's something to boast about that we have you know uh the title of being the lord the apple of the lord's eye that we have the the you know the ability to say that the Lord is dealing with us, man, as a nation, and not not any other nation, man. The, we special to the Lord. That's something to glory in. And uh, even within within that, okay, within being an Israelite, okay, especially on this side, you know, we we can boast in the fact that we know Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, because it's a lot of Israelites who are lost. It's a lot of Israelites, you know, as the scriptures say, they walking around in the congregation of the dead, okay, in that gross darkness. So. It's even more, you know, uh, it's even more, you know, special. It's even more, uh, you know, um, the word slipped my mind right now. But, you know, it's, it's, it's even more, uh, you know, uh, what I'm trying to say, it's, it's, it's something to glory in the fact that, you know, us being the Israelites, man, and that the Lord has so many Israelites. In derision, you know, the Lord has so many Israelites lost who still don't know what's going on. You know, even though we seeing all the signs and we getting all of the, the the facts and the proof, you know, to back it up. All right, they still in this mindset of you know things getting better and, and you know continuing in this in this captivity and, and you know everything that comes with that, man. But the Lord has has woken up. Uh, a number of, of Israelites to know what's really going on. You know, the Lord has opened up our minds to to comprehend the truth. You know, and not still be in that mindset of uh, establishing something on uh, on this earth and up under you know our our captors. You know, up under our oppressors. You know, knowing that it's not going to work. You know, it's not going it's not going to prevail. All right. But you know, like it says, man, if, you know, like the Lord said, but let him that glory the glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. And that's a beautiful thing, man, because that's that's comfort. In a world where we have no comfort, we have no no uh nothing is nothing is set, man. Everything is so uncertain. To know how about Shimia was shot, that's a form of certainty, that's a form of stability and comfort. Alright? But those who don't know the Heavenly Father and, and, and Yahweh Shah our Lord. You know they they lost they you know all over the place all right they're unstable all right but us that us that know you how about shot we have something to glory in we have something to to uh you know to look forward to so to speak you know all right this is jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 23 oh yahweh i know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. All right. So the way of man is not in himself. Okay. And we're going to you know, prove that with a, a couple of other precepts, man. But again, the, the things that we do on an everyday basis, man, it can be just as simple as you going to the store to get a, a drink, get, get a bottle of water. That was ordained by Yahweh by Shem al Shah for you to, to have the money to get that, that water. For you to to be uh, able-bodied to e to either walk or to drive to the store to go get that water, okay, and to you know like you know everything, man, everything that happens, okay, from the smallest detail, okay, is, is ordained by Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. It's things that we don't even think about, okay, because of our mortal minds is so, you know, the percentage of, of our brain that we actually use is 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 a fraction of what. You know eventually we will be able to use you know but we, we can only comprehend so much man but you know 
to just think that man every little every little thing that we do on an everyday basis man even even the fact you know even down to you you know you, you might go outside and you know something tell you to look up and you look up and you see a chariot that's not a coincidence there's no coincidences man everything that happens you know is uh it was already written it was already a part of your story before you even came came up to that uh or came about that that uh portion of your story all right proverbs uh 20 and verse 24 man's goings are of the lord how can a man then understand his own way all right so our goings are of yahweh all right we can't understand our own way all right the scriptures speak about uh matter of fact let me get it real quick because really we have no we have no understanding other than that which is given to us by the heavenly father you know all right this is jeremiah 17 and verse 9 the heart is deceitful above all things and that word heart goes into your mind it means your mind all right so it says the mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it okay so our, our hearts our minds are desperately wicked you know yeah because we we in these in the, we in this flesh we in these terrestrial bodies man these these chains of darkness as it is called so therefore you know we got to deal with things that come with these chains of darkness all right we, we deal with the wicked thoughts on a daily basis that we have to rebuke we deal with uh you know heavy emotions you know the, the burdens of being in the flesh man so if you know leave it up to us man we'll be doing some of anything man which we have done okay when the lord uh he removed his presence from us he, he turned his back on us we was doing some of everything and it's israelites out there still doing some of everything because they're following after their own hearts they they leaning into their own understanding okay which it, it really is no understanding all right but you know you get the point no but it says man's goings are of the lord man you know <laughs> proverbs 19 and verse 21 there are many devices in a man's heart okay that were devices it goes into plans your, your plans your intentions there's many intentions or, or plans in a man's heart again the word heart means your mind all right we, we make plans every day you know some some more than others but let's say you know speaking of you know as far as the two-thirds they you know two-thirds make plans every day you know some people plan far ahead you know like oh i'm about to do this in, in, in three three to five years i'm about to be doing this i'm about to be doing that you don't know where you're gonna be at man you don't know what kind of roads you're gonna uh what kind of path you're gonna uh go down within that that time period man so much can happen in one day let alone a year or two or five all right so you know it, it says there are many devices in a man's heart you know people always uh saying they're gonna do this that and the third but how how often do our plans really carry out how we really intended them to you know a lot of things do you know some some things you know uh happen according to how we intended on them to happen but even in that some things happen like uh, a little different you still might be able to you know to prosper in, in whatever you was planning on doing but if something might have changed it ain't exactly perfect how you wanted it to, to, to be you know but like you know going back into how you know man's goings are the lord all right continuing i'm gonna read it again proverbs 19 and 21 there are many devices in a man's heart nevertheless the counsel of the lord that shall stand okay and i'm gonna read that in the nlt version which is where i got the title of this lesson all right proverbs 19 and 21 in the nlt you can make many plans but the lord's purpose will prevail okay so you, we can make many plans man we can we can say that even in let's say we keep it in a day all right in a couple of hours i'm about to go you know let's say somebody uh planning on going out you know and, and partying somebody might be like oh yeah i'm about to go i'm about to go to the club tonight before i go to the club i'm gonna go to the mall give me some clothes you know we're gonna go out to eat do this down the third and then you know when it when it hit 
uh, 11 o'clock We're going to go out to the club And we're going to enjoy ourselves The Lord will mess all your, your plans up Thinking that you about to go do this, that, and the third That's, you know You thinking you know, thinking yourself to be something When you are nothing You have no control over what you do All we can say is You know, Lord willing Okay, well, I'm going to get that scripture as well, man Right, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't say that. A lot of people don't include Yahweh uh, Shema Shah in their plans, in their intentions. You know, it's all about what they gonna do and what they feel like uh, it's gonna be, and that's not how it works. It says again, man. Uh, Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand, man, and that's always how it's gonna be. Proverbs sixteen and one. The preparations of the heart in the man, all right, in the mind of man. Excuse me. And the answer of the tongue, all right. So the things that we think, as well as the, the words that we speak, is from Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Verse two. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah weigheth the spirits. All right. The Lord knows our hearts. The Lord knows, you know, what we thinking, and you know, what our, our our true intentions are. Sometimes we don't even know what our true intentions are. You know, the Lord knows us better than than we know ourselves. You know, like and it says, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Yeah, leave it up to us. We don't do no wrong. Leave it up to us. We always right. We always got the answer. You know. And if we don't got the answer, we gonna find it. You know, leave it up to us as humans. You know, following our own understanding. You know, it's gonna always be a pride type of thing. It's gonna always be a boastful type of thing. Because you know, a lot of people feel like okay, because we we us. You know, we in our own bodies, we can't do no wrong. And that's not true, man. We always wrong in some kind of way. You know, a lot, a lot of people may not want to admit it. But we always wrong, man. We we always, you know, we, we sin every day, in, in some kind of way. As the scriptures speak about, we have all fallen short from the glory of the Most High. All right, so we are unclean, you know. To to keep it simple. Again, verse two: All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. All right, <clears throat> verse three: Commit thy works. Unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and thy thoughts shall be established. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you know, include Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah in, in in your works. Okay, you have to, you know, in all things that you do, man, you have to, you have to somehow acknowledge Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, it's just as simple as that. All right, and it says, uh, and thy thoughts shall be established. Yeah, because if you if you just going on, you know, uh, feeling like you got all the answers Like you feel like You know uh, What you say goes You know Your word is bond The Lord will give you over To that reprobate mind Okay But if you humble yourself in, in the sight of the Lord The Lord will provide you With that proper instruction The proper uh, You know Mindset To, to lead a, a righteous life You know To the best of our abilities But if you just feel like You don't need the Lord The Lord is not gonna He's not gonna Open up your mind man To, to give you knowledge Wisdom and understanding He's gonna let you Think you know what you're doing, okay? Like the scriptures say, a man, uh, there are, uh, there's a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah. So if you think like you don't need the Lord to, to direct your path, you don't need the Lord's protection, you don't need His instruction. You can do what you want to do because you just got all this power. Okay. The Lord is gonna allow, allow you to uh, be given over to that reprobate mind to lead that that path that you want to lead. That you want to uh, follow And you're going to ultimately be destroyed Alright It says um, Yeah verse I'm going to go to verse 9 Proverbs 16 and 9 A man's heart deviseth his way But the Lord directeth his steps Okay Again what does it mean to devise? Let's get that word real quick. It said again, it said a man. Let me get it. It said, A man's heart deviseth his way. 
okay but the Lord directed his steps all right I'm gonna read it um, in the NLT again, man. This is, you know, it's all proven. You know, we're supposed to prove all things, and it's the proof is in the pudding, man. Proverbs 16 and 9 in the NLT version. We can make our plans, but the Lord's deter, but the Lord determines our steps. All right, and that's just like, basically the exact same thing I read in the other scripture, man. But you know, for further edification, let's get the word for divisive. All right, this um. In the uh, Hebrew, is the word is chashav, chashav, and it means to think, to plan, to esteem, to calculate, okay, to make a judgment. All right, yeah. You know, there's many things that we plan on doing and that we intend on doing. You know, that we calculate that we're going to do. You know, a lot of people make plans throughout the day. All right, we we all do it at, at, in some kind of way. All right, but you know. It's different, you know, because we, 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 uh, you know, all we, everything revolves around this truth, man, or around doing the Lord's work, man. Of course, we have to handle our everyday business. We have to, you know, take care of, um, well, our basic necessities. But at the same time, man, everything us brothers in this truth, you know, should be, uh, centered around is, is laboring in the Lord's work, okay? Reading, studying, you know, doing the lessons. Yeah, and when Saturday come around or Friday for some brothers go out on the highways and hedges you know present our body a living sacrifice all right all of these things you know and, and that's that those things is what the Lord delights in okay those things you know is it, it's, it's not off because you know if you you make a plans to to you know sacrifice your time and your life to you how about shot that's what the Lord delights in but if you trying to you know uh, give your time over to, to wickedness and to partying and, and having mirth and you know doing things that please your own self, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. You supposed to keep Yahweh by Shem at the forefront of your mind. All right, everything should be uh, aimed towards pleasing the Lord and serving the Lord, not yourself. All right, all right. So yeah, man. This is the book of James, chapter four and verse thirteen. Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow. We will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Yeah, you know, people who say, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go there. You know, I'm going to get that. You don't know what you're going to do or where you're going to go or where you're going to be. You know, Cause just as soon as you open your mouth to say you're going to do something, the Lord can switch everything in a, in a blink of an eye. All right. You you, you talking about you going to... Uh, you know, like people, people, people. Even now, man, with all with all that's going on, all of the signs that we getting, okay, all of the the prophecies that's taking place, people still think that this spring and summer gonna come around and everything gonna go back to normal. Oh, yeah, this is only happening because it's cold. All right, this is only happening because you know it's a it's a it's just a cold front. It's just the winter. When the winter comes, you know, when it's when it gets back sunny. Oh, people gonna people gonna get right. People, it's a lot of people who've been humbled right now. It's a lot of people who still walking around in their pride, and that's never gonna change. But it's a lot of people who've been humbled during these last year and a half. You know, this this last year, I'm gonna say, this last year and the beginning of this month, it's a lot of people who've been humbled because you know they've been so dependent on the government. They've been dependent on you know their job and uh you know their business. But a lot of people's business got shut down. All right, a lot of people have been cut off of their uh, their benefits that they were receiving from the from the government. Okay, a lot of people have been brought to a lower state. They've been humbled. But even in that, man, you know, it, you I got people even saying like, okay, well after this four years is up, when Biden is no longer president, okay, maybe we can get Trump back in office. Man, that nigga gonna be dead and gone by then. All right, or, or we can get somebody else in office, you know, who can who can run this country. People's thinking about all of these irrelevant things, man. You know, but the point being, you know, people making these plans when they're not even paying attention to what's going on today. They're not even paying attention to, to the present, but they making plans for the future. You know, you know, that's that's you know, people uh, thinking themselves to be something when they are nothing, deceiving themselves. All right, James 4 and 13, uh, 14. 
whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. Okay, so we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't even know what's going to happen later today than the day that we, we, we have now that we was given today. You know, let alone what's going to happen tomorrow. Matter of fact, that remind me of a scripture. Okay, I'm, uh, this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 34. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Okay, don't think about what's going to happen tomorrow. Don't think about, you know, uh, what you're going to do and, and how you're going to, you know. Of course, man, we, we, we still have, you know, mortal minds. Okay, but, you know, we have, to, we have to think less carnally and more spiritually, man. We have to lean more on your how about shim All right, of course. Nobody's perfect, man. But at the same time, we, we try to, to to leave everything into the hands of the Lord. We still have to put forth our effort, you know. But at the same time, we know that, you know, the Lord already got everything written. All right, we just we just playing it out, man. The the the, the movie was already written. The movie was already made and recorded. We just playing the roles, okay? We just going through the motions. Again, take no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof okay we got to worry about what's going on today you have to worry about you know how are we how are we uh you know pleasing the lord today how are we serving the lord today how are we doing you know uh what we supposed to be doing in the, in this day this day is not over yet so why talk about a, a time that hasn't come yet you know you know, you got that saying, uh, the past is, is the past is already gone and the future hasn't come yet. All we have is the present. All literally all we have is the present right now, man. We know the things that's written. Okay, and the things written in the scriptures, they are gonna come to pass because you know the Lord said they was gonna come to pass. Okay, but we still have to balance things out, man, and worry about today. Alright, don't think about the things that's gonna take place tomorrow. All right, so back to the book of uh, St. James. St. James chapter 4 and verse uh, 14 again. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, what is your life? It is even a vapor. All right, yeah, that, that vapor is talking about smoke, man. You know, like, like this. You know, you see the smoke and now you don't. You know, it's just like that. That's how our lives is, is compared. That's what our lives are compared to. It's no smoke. It's there one minute and the next minute it's not. It says that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Yeah, like like it said in the uh, in the beginning in Psalms, Psalms eight and uh, four. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Yeah, our lives is nothing, man, compared to. The, you know the glory of Yahweh So you know, We're not to be uh, Glorified or, or reverenced You know At least not you know us in ourselves Alright verse 15 uh, St. James uh, 4 and 15 For ye ought to say If the Lord will We shall live and do this Or that you know if you know in everything man we got to say lord willing man lord willing you know and uh it's just as simple as that that's what the lord wants man the lord wants us to, to acknowledge him in all things because you know rightfully so the lord is in control of all things why not reverence the lord why not uh acknowledge the lord you know you know all things are from you how about you it says verse 16 but now you rejoice in your boastings 
All such rejoicing is evil. So yeah, so so to not acknowledge Yahweh in all your ways, you know, that's evil. To think that, you know, again, man, not to be the dead horse, man, but to think that you doing something because you had the power to do it, that's that's wicked, man. To think that you you got any kind any kind of say so. That's off. Uh, Saint John three and verse twenty seven. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. You know, except, you know, it was ordained from on high. You know, except the Lord approved it to be. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get it. You're not going to go there, etc., etc. And it's just as simple as that, man. You're not going to obtain something if it wasn't sent to you. You know, Proverbs 3 and 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Okay? Acknowledge who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh In all our ways, we got to acknowledge the Lord, man. Because, you know, again, you would just be deceiving yourself, you know, and, and, and you know, leading down, you know, leading yourself, I should say, down the wrong path. A way that you thought was the right path. It's always going to be the wrong path because we have no understanding. Okay, you know we gotta we gotta do everything through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man, and, and and not only doing it, man, but acknowledging and acknowledging it, you know, speaking it. You no, know, but you know, you no know, Lord willing, this uh, it was edifying. I just wanted to touch on it real quick, you know, <clears throat> because you know we can never acknowledge the Lord enough. All right, but we have to do it more. All right, <clears throat> but with that, let me give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole four leg. Abba, Baba, Waquam, Yashallah, Shalom.